All right, so today's video is gonna be unit 2.71a, and we're gonna just talk about the relationship between our exponents and what we call logs. Now, we've just got done dealing with exponents and exponential functions, and we're gonna see how we can um, look at what we call an inverse of these to see how they act and to see how we can solve for exponential functions. So our objective today is to use the inverse functions of exponents and logarithms to solve equations, and that's really what we're going to focus on. We're actually going to focus on just one conversion. We're going to focus on solving for exponential functions, um, but then the next video will deal with um, solving logarithm. So the first thing that we want to look at is what is a logarithm? A logarithmic function is the inverse of an exponential function. And if you look at the graph that I have listed here, Basically, these are kind of a, in a way, almost a reflection of each other. If you imagined a, um, a line going through the middle of these, you could basically say that these are flipped over each other on that diagonal line. But if you look at this, this is the um, equation 10 to the power of x that we looked at as an exponential function. And then if we look at here, this is the log and what we call base 10 of x. And so this is we would say this is the log of x, or we could say the log base 10 of x, and we'll get into a little bit of that detail in a little bit. But the idea is if you look at those, if you were to flip this upside down, or if you, would t if you were to take that image and rotate it, you would see that it's going to be almost the same thing as that exponential function. And so what we're looking at is this is no different than multiplying and dividing, or square roots and squares being kind of inverse of each other. Logs and exponents are inverses of each other. And so the whole idea with these being inverses of each other is you can find the logarithmic function of an exponential equation. And what we have is we have two different scenarios here. So in order for us to solve exponentials, we're given an exponential function usually in the form b to the x equals y. Now when we're given b to the x equals y, what, that, what we can do with that is we can understand that there's components at play. So the first thing that we have is this is the base of our exponent. This is the actual exponent that we're working with, and this is the value or the number that it's associated with. Now, when we look at a logarithmic function, if you look at this, this is the log with the base of the number is equal to the exponent. And so the whole idea behind this is that we want to be able to solve for the exponent. We want to look at a particular value that's in the exponent. And so we can change to this basic form of a logarithmic function in order to solve for this exponent. And then we can use our calculator to help us calculate what that value ends up being. And we're going to take a look at some of those examples. Now, one way that we can look at this is we can say that um, ben equals the log of bne. And so this is kind of just an easy way to kind of associate this, is that this is base to the exponent equals the number. And in a similar fashion, the log of the number to a particular base is equal to the exponent. And so what we can do is we can kind of shove everything away, and we can just solve for that um, variable x, which is in the exponent. Before, I told you there's not really a way that we can solve for a variable in the x rather than guessing and checking. Now, with something like this, if I asked you 2 to the power of x equals 4, what would be x? Most of you would be able to tell me that x equals 2. Now, the whole idea of what we're going to be doing is we're going to be solving a little bit more complex versions of these. And so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get it into this form here of this logarithmic form, where the base and the number are kind of basically in the same side, and then the variable is on the outside. And we can, we can look at how we can convert these. And so the whole idea is that I'm writing these as the base is 2, the exponent is x, and the number is equal to 4. And then so if I identify these three different pieces, then I can manipulate them any way that I want to. And so the idea is that I can write this exponential function here as the log base 2 of 4 equals x. And so by using my calculator, and I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit, we can figure out that the value of x is going to be equal to 2. 
Now in a similar fashion, if I look over here, I identify these three pieces of B, E, and N. The base of my exponent is 3. The exponent itself is X. And then the number that it's equal to is 81. And so if I was to write this, the log base 3 of 81 is equal to x. So I'm just kind of using that overall formula here. b to the power of e equals n, or the log b of n is equal to e. And so I'm just identifying these different pieces, and we're going to work with this in class two as well. So what does this mean for solving our exponentials? So the whole idea is that we want to be able to convert to our log form and use our calculator to solve these. So now we're going to look at 2 to the power of x is equal to 512. Now we could go through and we could start counting and we could start multiplying until we get to 512, but we want to find an easier way to do that. And so the first thing is I'm going to convert to my log form. So I want to write the ben is equal to the log of bne. And so the base is equal to 2, the exponent is equal to x, and the number is equal to 512. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this into log form. So the log base 2, so it's the smaller number underneath, equals to 512, or the log base 2 of 512 is equal to x. Now I want to put that into my calculator and get an answer for that. And so I, I can achieve that by hitting control and then if you look down here, right next to the exponential here, there's a log that's there. And so if I put that in there, the log, base 2 of 512, what that ends up looking like is that it'll give you a log, it'll give you a small box under here, and a larger box over here. And so this is what we call a subscript. And so you're just putting that value into the subscript and letting your calculator evaluate that for you. And so what that means is that the log base 2 of 512 is equal to 9. Now if I was to plug that into my original equation, what that's telling me is that 2 to the 9th is equal to 512. And that's really what I'm going to be looking for, as I'm looking for that exponent that I can use that would give me the value that's associated with it. Now I can look at a couple more examples. Now remember that the exponential function looks very similar to our logarithmic function, but we're going to just basically use our calculator in order to help us with this information. And so here I have 4 to the x equals 1 over 64, and I want to convert that into log form. So I'm going to start with the log. Log base 4 is what I would be using because that's my base, of 1 over 64. That's the value that I'm trying to get is equal to my exponent. So I want to know what exponent with a base of 4 would give me 1 over 64. So I could plug that into my calculator again and what I end up getting is I get x equals negative 3. Now what that tells me is that tells me that 4 to the power of negative 3 is equal to 1 over 64. And so I've solved that exponential function. Now I can do the same thing. I have 25 to the power of x is equal to 1 fifth, and I want to figure out what exponent would give me that value of 1 over 5. And so all I have to do is I have to change this to log form. So the log base 25 of 1 over 5. So it's the log of the base of the number. So this is the number, this is the base, is equal to x. Now I can also put that into my calculator and get my answer. And this time, I get x is equal to negative 1 half. And so what that tells me is that 25 to the negative 1 half power is equal to 1 over 5. Now, at this point, that negative 1 half, as far as my exponent, might, might, might not make an entirely good amount of sense. But the idea is that we're using our calculator and using our logs in order to help us find what the answer is. Because we probably wouldn't be thinking of negative one-half as an exponent to give me one-fifth. You might have tried something else and been able to not get what you wanted. So the idea is that we're using our logarithmic form and our calculator in order to help us find these particular values. Now, part of the reason that we're looking into this is because we want to find something that's maybe not so straightforward. And so we're still using this Ben model. So B, e to the, B to the E equals N, and the log of B of the number 
is equal to our exponent. So the whole idea is that if I'm giving you a situation here of 4 to the power of 3x equals 4096, there's no way that you could think about what value of x you could plug in in order to get that value especially knowing that we would have to multiply it by 3 and then raise that with the base of 4. And so the, one of the ways that we can do this is we can convert to our log form. And so when we convert to our log form, it's going to help us, and then we can use our calculator as well to be able to help us get the answer. And so the first thing is that I want to convert this to log form. So this is the log base 4 of 4096 is supposed to equal 3x. Now the problem with this is that our calculator is just going to give us an answer to whatever this number is. And so what we want to new what we want to do is we want to get our exponent answers. And so we're going to do just that side of that. So we're going to just plug into our calculator the log base 4 and in parentheses 4096 and that's going to give us an answer of 6. So when I plug that in, 4 to the power of 6 is going to give me 4096. But we know that that exponent is supposed to be equal to 3x. And so basically what we're setting up is we're setting up this equation. And then we can solve this basic one-step equation and understand that 2 is our answer for x by dividing by 3 by both sides. But the idea is what I did is I was able to convert to log form so I could get one side of the equation equal to a number. And that's the kind of the whole goal of what we're trying to do, is we're trying to get number values out of this and solve for that exponent when we don't know what it is. Okay, so that's basically going to do it for this video. And the one thing that we want to remember is this guy up here. We want to remember this form, b to the power of e equals n, and the log base b of n is equal to our exponent. And so that's going to do it for this video.